Alright, and hello and welcome to DM Makes Me Plays Psychonauts. In the last episode, we ran around collecting stuff and finished off only Ender's world of basic braining. And in this episode, we're gonna, gonna continue wandering around and actually go find Sasha Nine's secret lab, which actually, as we find out by talking to Lily, it's not that much of a secret. <laughs> Unless you're dumb. Anyway. If you can hear the googling in the background, that's actually MJ Tay Mixter listening Back again. This time over Skype instead of actually sitting next to me because she's at home because she went home. Anyway, hey Lily, what's up? Hey Lily, do you know where Sasha Nine's secret lab is? Secret? It's printed on your map. Duh. Oh, I knew that. I was just curious if you knew where Sasha Nine. Oh, Raz, do. don't lie. Uh -huh. Don't lie, you didn't even know you had a map 20 seconds ago, and as it tells you right here, it tells you to go to your journal and go to the map. Ooh, map. Granted, Can you punch the map? I don't even think that's possible. Aww. Why would you want to punch your map? I don't know, why not? Is it happy? the map happy. No, it's not like the map from Dora the Explorer. Oh my god. If it was that map, I would set it on fire. Be like, I don't care if you're a map. Granted, I, don't I you. never use the map anyway. I never use the map even when first playing this game. Anyway, while we're in the save menu, or the start menu, we'll actually go through what's in here. You have basically your main stuff you can look through. Like, uh, the continue, the options, your load, save. Blah blah blah. Um, you have badges here, but these actually aren't your ability badges. These are just, um, kind of like, hey, I can go do this. You get another badge later on, which is the oarsman badge, which just basically allows you to use your use a boat for like 30 seconds of the game. I don't. 30 really... seconds. Well, that's, that's it. really not impressive. That's if you know how to drive the boat. It's actually not as easy as you think it is because they don't use oars. They actually just use their telekinetic powers to drive the boat, which makes no sense. Anyway, then you have this menu, which tells you how many this uh, side challenge marker here actually tells you of the side challengers in the area, how many you have, how many of the um, scavenger hunt items in the area that you have, uh, side cards of the area that you have, and then this one. Well, we'll get into that later. <laughs> I'll explain that when we actually figure it when it actually is revealed what that item actually is. In this menu, you have your current ranks out of 100, your current vaults out of 19, arrows, assorted bags, but these are of the entire uh, game, what you can collect. Psy cards is, um, this is just the number you have currently, same with cobwebs. Psy cores you can actually buy in the store, and I think I'm going, that's the next thing I'm going to do, is go into the store and show you that. And then the scavenger hunt items, if you press this, you can actually go into the scavenger hunt items, and it'll actually tell you what the items are, but I will actually go over where each of the locations is, just because, um, I am going to collect each individual item, including coming back for some, because you can't actually collect them all at this point in the game. And this is your to-do list, your current cutscene list, and the um, the blue ones are your the blue slideshow is your memories. The pink one is the concept art. There's usually two safes and a concept art per world, unless I'm mistaken. And there's three. I think there's only two per one. Let's change your map. Okay, all that explaining aside, let's go look at Frankie and Kitty. Hi, Frankie. Hi, Kitty. Guess what? You stole my arrowhead. Just ignore Can you make him give it back? No, I'm just gonna punch them. <laughs> yes, punch them. <laughs> and then I'm gonna talk to them. What you doing there? We're making friendship bracelets. You know, for Are they mad at you friends. for punching them? No, they're making friendship bracelets, you know, for their friends. Bastards. Man, I'm so mean. Hey, is that my name you should punch them one? again. Not unless your name is Frankie or Kitty. But my name is Frankie and Kitty. You guys stole my names. And I mm. punch and I punched them and they just kinda ignored me, so I'm gonna go Aww. for you. I'm gonna go into the lodge. 
and see uh, Quentin and uh, shoot, I forgot her name. I'm gonna watch them play the drums. Hey, you guys are good. Thanks, man. Hey, you lighter. Because mm. if you lit it and help no, they're actually now, physically playing. And completely oh, insensitive well, that's cooler. To me and my issues. Oh, right, right. Oh, never mind. I forgot about the whole fire bad thing for a moment. <sighs> hey, why are you stopping? Oh, I thought you stopped. Wait. Oh, no, she has no, a problem. No. I forgot she Let's has a go. problem with fire. Whoops. So does Raz, but it's probably a different kind of problem. No, Raz doesn't have a problem with fire. Oh, I thought you said water. No, Sorry. I said fire. <laughs> and I'm gonna look at the TV. Why are you going? This is the TV. He's not bound. He's bouncing on the horse, but not really. Hold on a second. <laughs> he's like he's like bouncing on the horse, but not really. Why are you acting weird? I'm sorry guys, I fuss with controls until I figure out what I actually like with controls. Granted, I don't go into first person mode that often. It just feels weird. I might actually just cut a good portion of this off because I will come in and out of- When I first come back to games, I fuss around with it because one game has it one way and the other game has it another way. Alright. Well, he's just bouncing on the house. Let's change this channel. This guy is getting punched in the nuts repetitively. And that's all that's going on in this channel. Awesome. And then there's aliens! They're taking over! They're shooting their alien buddy because he has four arms. Actually, I have no idea why they're shooting him. Anyway. Let's get out of here. And then there's this girl over it's here. Like we're the best band ever. I think it's actually and she likely. disappears when you get close to her. But what she's bands. drawing, can I get on here? Is she's actually drawing a picture of Mills. Hey, how can you tell a not Nil I think it's Mills. I'm not sure quite what his name is. But she has a little crush on him and she will reappear and disappear if you get close because she kind of is antisocial like that. Anyway. Hey! There's a guy in here flipping burgers. I want some food. I told you that burgers ain't burgers. No, you didn't. The coals ain't hot. They're not gonna be done for a while. There may be a week. A There's a week wait on the burgers? That is so lame. I don't even want a hamburger. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? So, what do you want? Oh, that's my last cobweb Okay, so this is the store. This is a cobweb duster. And you probably should get one of those. Oh, yeah. Might not be able to afford it now. Well, but. if you could see the screen, this has a rank requirement also. It costs 800 arrowheads and is 20, and you need it rank 20. That's just lame. Well, you need um, another item, which I'll get to in a minute. The next one is a Psy Energy Color Riser. It's rank 30, and it's kind of a vanity item. He's kind of rambling on about back in the old days. He's like, why would you need to color them if you couldn't color them? The next thing is an actual useful badge. It's a um, mag magnetism badge, which basically it um it magnetizes your power. It magnetizes things that fall out of monsters, so you don't actually have to go out and chase them. Ooh, that's but, awesome. But it costs 400 arrowheads and is rank 15. There's the so doubt. Yeah, the best thing in the entire inventory that I suggest getting as soon as you can is the dowsing rod. Find three or four deep deposits, and that maybe pays for itself. It costs you money because it makes you money. I like how he says, this dowsing rod costs you money because it makes you money, but it only costs 50 arrowheads, and as soon as you go finding for deep deposits, you can get basically 800 arrowheads in like two, like 30 minutes. It's at the most, which is kind of awesome. Yeah, and then you got psi cores, and then you put it together with the cards. And you'll have yourself a brand new 
Sidecores each cost 10 arrowheads each, which is basically like pocket change, so I'm gonna buy two right now. Just because Sidecores are good to have, which means I'm using most of my money. And then you have Dream Fluffs, which I don't have enough money for. No. But I'm not gonna. C I'll come back for Dream Fluffs. They're actually like. Kind of like, um. Auto revive. Phoenix down? No, not a Phoenix down, because Phoenix downs don't cost themselves when you died. Okay. It ca it's kind of like an ability where if your health goes down to zero, it regens your health by a certain amount. Okay. Oh, so the fairies in Zelda. Yeah. There we go. That's the analogy I wanted. Okay, now we're gonna go over here, which is the yeah, I'm useful for something. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you you're useful but for multiple things. <laughs> well, anyway, now we're gonna go into the GPC and wilderness area. And this area is kind of the next place you need to go. I'll do ex more exploring later, just because, as I'll say it, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm a pan. I am such a pansy when it comes to damn bears. Hmm. Oh. Hey, I'll I'll go at attack bears when I have the dowsing rod, so I can actually afford dream fluffs, because nothing is more embarrassing than dying to a bear. Which means I'm probably going to do it a lot when I finally pick up the game. Yeah. But you're probably going to set squirrels on fire, so it's okay. Oh, yes. If you can. I'm going to try. Uh, it's be like the first thing I do when I get the setting things on fire ability. I'm just going to go find a squirrel and set it on fire. The only problem is you can't really move and set stuff on fire. It kind Aww. of sucks. You, you need to concentrate to set stuff on fire, and it's a weird ability. What are those guys even talking? Oh, they were just telling me good luck taking Sasha and I's training. It's okay, Raz. We're in the middle of the woods. Everything's no one normal. Can hear you scream. Hey, was that you? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself. <laughs> You're just like, yeah, there no. Are a lot Raz. Of on that stage besides you. No, just now. Stop try stop making crappy pickup lines. <laughs> No. Who's he trying to pick up now? You don't Clearly. Smell like pond scum. Oh. He, now he's telling her that you don't. You he, that she doesn't parts. smell like pond scum. There was some sort of oh yes. Being out there, lurking, watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. I do remember you telling me about that pickup line. Yes, in the last recording that got lost. Yeah. Really? Hey, you've almost caught up then. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite. I still have to go through um, the the next experiment. Yeah. Did you just say here, pretty birdie? Raz? <laughs> really? I wouldn't put it past him. Yeah, I think I pressed F right where the bird was. <laughs> okay. Um, well, up here is a feather. This is actually not on your scavenger hunt list. This feather actually is used with clairvoyance, which is an ability we don't have yet. Clairvoyance basically it allows you to see through um, the eyes of an uh, eyes of the person that you either are looking at or have an object that resonates their presence. Anyway, we'll get into that later. There's an entire world dedicated to that. <laughs> 